troops. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday. Let's see. Let's see what we get for you. Let's do a short one. Let's do a short one, my little love buggies. Sunday, Sunday. It's Trudy Sunday, Sunday. In the world of Tarot. What in the world? Okay. Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with any sign. You could be dealing with somebody who has a little bit of an attitude. Okay, cups, tower, nine of pence. Tell me about the queen. Tell me about this queen. Nyla? No. Nyla? No. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Nyla? I said no. <clears throat> She's resting, blocking. Judgment day for her. It looks like she laid something to rest. Okay, so I don't know if you're a little bitchy about it, but it definitely looks like you probably laid something to rest. Tell me about the can of cups. Either you're hurt, they're hurt. Could, mm, I was going to say, po mm, possibly guarding your heart, but I don't, I don't think so. It, it looks like you laid something to rest, for sure. Coming out as the queen of swords. This is not really going within. This is laying something to rest. Peace of mind. Something logical. Okay. Um, could this energy be hurt? Possibly. <clears throat> Tell me about the tower. So you could have put, the feminine could have put something to rest. Yeah, see, the devil. And you got the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. Six of cups. So something, there was some type of shift with this energy. It's it's a given. But it's not it's not good. There's still something toxic, codependent, eh, not good. You know what's ironic? We come in as all sorts of queens all the time, right? Let me just drop my lotion. We come in as all sorts of queens all, all, all different times for different reasons. Coming in as air is either because, you know, she can usually, she's known as the ice queen. You know, if she's going to ice something, she's going to, she, it looks like she definitely laid something to rest. And I'm saying that because I'm reading upright, but she actually came out reversed. We all know when the queen of swords comes out reversed, she can be a bitch, but for her own right, you know, like she, she is, she didn't pass judgment. What she did is laid something to rest. Something probably could have been resurrected and she laid it to rest. Could the masculine be hurt from the situation? Possibly. Or they can be guarded, and that's another reason why she laid something to rest. It really just depends. The tower, um, I'm hoping it took away some type of something, okay? Um, but it looks like it took away a relationship's 
something. Tell me about the devil. So something wasn't good, unhealthy. You know what I mean? Like not the, you know, the hangman wanted to come out and it didn't. So I don't know if a sacrifice was made or not made. But with the magician here, this combo, the magician can be tricky. This one's known for having stuff up their sleeves too. So, this mm, could be tricky. Or they had a chance to manifest something, and instead of instead of going after some type of manifestation, shutting it down with the devil energy. Or you just straight up down with a sag. What I was going to say is this masculine coming up as the three of swords being hurt, bent out of shape. Look at the depiction on this card too. So it looks like the masculine's bent out of shape. They could be hurt. It does look like they realized they had, could be a second chance, but didn't want to, didn't want to take it, didn't want to risk involving their heart. I can't tell if they're hurt or not. This is the diff. I'll clarify the three of swords. Let's just do that real quick. Three of swords. Because it, it looks like a, looks like something could have went in their direction with the wheel here, but they didn't take it. Okay, so that's on them. So they're a little hurt. They didn't take the opportunity. So it looks like they decided possibly to stay in something toxic or codependent. Because they had this chance. They didn't take it. Tell me about the nine of pence. Um, temperance at the bottom of the deck. Um, the sun, you know, has a whole bunch of different meanings. Next to the tower, I want to say it was some type of an epiphany. This is usually energy of somebody doing really well. Nine of Pence, confident. Stands in the morals. It can be very alluring, alluring energy, but I don't. Because I don't know if this is how he was looking at her. She has a lot of potential. He, he had clarity on something. But still, it wasn't taken. There was a lot of growth and potential for something. I mean, it's a given. This can also speak of being very independent, single. Standing on their own two feet. The Queen of Swords, the feminine, laid something to rest. There could have been a second chance, laid it to rest. He could be hurt or his ego can be in the way. S something blocked a new start and it looked like there's still something toxic going on. It is, it's, it's like ruining your own dreams and wishes, your ambitions, pretty much, because you were more than capable. So something, the opportunity was here. It's, it's a given with the wheel, the change, you know. And either they took their some stuff out of toxic, toxicity, or she did. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's even like that. I think it was a tower moment. There was a, there was an opportunity, everything. Everything had to crumble for some reason to to get rid of this in order to have this, but it wasn't it wasn't taken. There was a lot of potential for a situation, 
or she saw something in this energy where she decided, no, I'm, I'm good. You know, it's something like that. Let's see what she laid to rest. Because she laid something to rest. This could be all her energy laying it to rest. Knowing that maybe there's this type of person in her life. And, you know, she just couldn't, there wasn't an end. There was, there was too much of something going down and she laid it to rest. I mean, that's, it's that simple. She cut that energy off. It was, wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, t turning in, so she got it twice. So letting go, she letting go. There was probably no compromise when it came to something, I'm not sure. But she's got the same thing twice. It, it's not really telling us why you shut something down, but you definitely laid something to rest. She went in. Obviously didn't like something that went down. Cause she's got she's got clarity. She's she's independent. She's strong. But all this this was toxic. I don't know if you were holding on to something. The devil, three of swords, the tower. You manifested it, they manifested it, something was manifested but didn't come into fruition. Let's find out about this three of swords, what it's linked to. Participation. So they might have not have participated or you guys were going back and forth with communication and it wasn't good. Could they be feeling alone, left out? Yep. Or this is how she could be feeling. It looks like, you know, he's feeling it too. Regardless, opportunity wasn't taken. Something got laid to rest. Tell me about the sun. Maybe it was a necessary one. You know, maybe it was necessary to go your separate ways with something. So somebody was just too paranoid to, to take a risk, to go in a new direction. So, tell me about tuning in one more time, tuning in. This one just wants happiness. You know, peace of mind. Tell me about the tower. It's too many. But it was control, so maybe somebody was trying to control something. Tower. Whoa. Again, way too many. Well, the lovers came up, but I got a couple over here. You know, compromise, patience. Maybe someone lost patience. Um, but it has to do with the lovers. So it has to do with these two. So let's find out, let's find out what went down real quick if we can with this deck. It looks, it looks to be like a, a beneficial situation, guys, because that, all that independence right there with the sun, it, it doesn't look like it was a, it was a bad thing. You know, if you guys split, stop talking, whatever happened, it could have even been sudden, but with the, the nine of pens and the sun being there, it looks, looks like 
looks like the right measurements, whatever. Something looks like you benefited yourself from the situation. Um, what went wrong? What went wrong in that situation? What went wrong? So someone's isolating themselves, not enough courage. Somebody's clearly upset about a situation where it could be the, the two of you, you know? Um, someone, that's too many. Someone didn't have enough courage regarding something. So there could have been a little fear in that devil, but this is why I'm doing that, so we can get a little more of a situation. I didn't, I didn't get any other cards that spoke of fear. So to me, it, it really looked like something that was, that was no good, you know, clinging to the past. So somebody in that situation is, is still, you know, you can't move forward if you're doing this. That's a given, okay? And we knew, that's, I just said that, you can't move forward. It's, it's a given, that's the two of ones. You know, not taking opportunities, holding on to the past, not being big and brave enough. I don't know if there's, you know, especially with judgment there, I, you know, I'm not sure. If somebody does feel alone, isolated, uh, sad about a situation, that's a given. It was on the board, you know, isolating themselves, taking themselves right out of the equation. But again, it looks like there's a little fear. But again, judgment, clinging to the past. You can't, you can't have that if you can't, you can't open new voids if you're not open to change. You know. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to be in this energy, and I, I definitely wouldn't encourage you to be in this energy. So, if you laid something to rest, I think it's, it's a good thing. Because this is, this is ill. This is, I'm stuck. You know, you might not even be talking to this person or you just block the situation out. I didn't see any other measurements to, to, with this courage situation, except for the devil. But I, like I said, I didn't see any other fear on the board. So I have to look at the, the devil as, as not, it was in a good scenario. So this could be somebody else's energy around you. I don't, you know, on why something didn't go down. So now it's time for somebody else to fly. I got to fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly, let your spirit capture me. Go be a free bird, okay? I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.